thing about Brentley, uh, he's not licensed to do this, but that guy can give one hell of a prostate exam. <laughs> he's got a little different technique. It involves a gag ball. <laughs> but two and a half minutes later, you're cured. So I don't recommend that. Um, recently found out something about myself. I didn't know. Um, because of my body type, in the gay community, I'm what's known as a bear. Woo! Does anybody know that? Yeah. yeah. yeah I didn't even know that was a thing. And, and uh, you know, I, it's, um, it's pretty incredible to find that out about yourself. That you're a bear. And I found out, too, that bears are like the end thing right now in the gay community. So who knew? Um, I, I'm not gay, but, but the last guy that blew me was. <laughs> and I, I'd like to thank the gay community for making hairy, fat, sweaty guys like myself feel wanted. <laughs> is more conducive to a pedophile. <laughs> your circumcision starts to reverse itself. <laughs> I really got lucky. My wife is fantastic. She's beautiful and smart, and I'm blessed to have her in my life. And, and part of me feels very fortunate to have her there. And then there's another part of me that feels like I deserve her. Because in order to get to her, I had to have sex with a lot of ugly women. <laughs> oh, it was gross. If my dick could talk about my single life, it would say, oh. <laughs> They weren't all ugly, but they were all crazy. And, and, and a lot of, of non-crazy women are always like, why do guys always like crazy girls? What's the big deal? Well, I'll be honest with you, they're just better in bed. <laughs> You can be you can be willing and able to do anything, but if you're not crazy, you're not going to make it because nothing out fucks insecure paranoia. <laughs> stupid usernames where people like combine letters and numbers to make a name like BS forever like I'm not gonna be your best friend forever I'm not even gonna call you after the first date uh, you know or mate for life what am I a fucking penguin <laughs> or something uplifting like bored two tears great crying and uninterested again <laughs> I did, I did meet one sweet gal, her username was Morbid Impulses. I, I thought it was a great sense of humor thing, but wrong, wrong. <laughs> the last time we were together, uh, right in the throes of passion, just as I climaxed, she ripped the gerbil out of my ass and stabbed me to death with a fork. <laughs> Sad because that was my favorite term. <laughs> Little Kiki. Another thing that annoyed me is the only girls that would like, like reach out to me first were the ones that uh, had no profile picture. You know, they'd send me some little like you know like little message that says, "I think you're cute." So I would send something stupid back like, "I think you're invisible." <laughs> But it, but, it, but it piques your interest, you know, and so you start looking through the profile. It says she's 5'8 and curvy. Cool, because I'm 6'2", 185. <laughs> <laughs> then you start looking through the rest of the profile, and like, you know, her turn-ons are not jogging and buffets. <laughs> and two of the six things she can't live without are Oreos and blood pressure medicine. <laughs> We were a 92% match. Uh, 
Guys, that's all my time. I uh, appreciate it. <laughs>